What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining me for your daily tarot card reading. This is going to be for Wednesday, August 10th, and I will be using one of my favorite decks that was gifted to me. So uh, anyway, it's the Dragon Tarot. This is going to be, um, I was going to say daily reading, but hello, repeat yourself much, um, a message for the collective. Okay, so take what resonates and let the rest fly. So let's get into your reading here and see what's going on. It's been a really interesting week so far. I mean, well, this is kind of good news, but it's also very uncomfortable. It's like you guys are sort of on the lip, you know, the the crux. What is the word that I'm getting? It's kind of like I'm seeing the word like linchpin as well. But you've got the Ten of Swords, okay? So the Ten of Swords is like whatever has been stressing you out lately could kind of come to a head today. But then it's going to be done. You know, you could be having some sort of a disagreement with somebody or there's an uncomfortable situation at work or just like whatever it is that is really bothering you right now. Um, it's probably, gonna, <laughs> sorry, get a little bit worse today. Uh, just hold on. I'm going to write something down. Especially first thing in the morning, okay? So I always post these a day ahead so that you guys can be prepared for the actual day, okay? So if you're watching this in the evening, um, just know that you might get a little bit rocked tomorrow, but that's okay. That's okay. That is going to be the sign that everything is turning around with the Ten of Swords. It is the end of that very challenging series. If you know tarot, you know super awkward just everything is like what is going on here just an absolute gong show and what day did we pull the nine of swords oh, okay okay uh monday okay so whatever was going on there it's finally gonna resolve itself but you can expect to feel a little bit more uncomfortable uh just a little bit more frazzled and then things should fade away there should be some sort of um solution to the problem okay either that or you just stop caring um which is always a benefit too where you're like whatever you know you can just sort of release that a little bit okay this is beautiful this is really beautiful okay so i pulled the three of cups and I love this big, powerful dragon in the strength card. Okay, so your friends are going to come in and they're going to say, hey, what are you freaking out about anyway? Or do you want to talk about it? And this is really beautiful when, you know, when you're kind of thinking about, oh, I wish I could talk to my friends so and so. And then all of a sudden they just text you out of nowhere or call you or whatever. Um, this is going to be the strength. This is like strength in numbers. Okay, so hold on for a second. So it's actually played out in these two cards. You've got the three of cups, which really indicates your friends coming in, like really deep connections. And maybe it's something that you weren't too proud of or you just didn't want to hassle your friends with and say, oh, I just want to keep this to myself. I don't want to bother them. But anyway, somebody's going to notice. Somebody's going to get your telepathic cry for help, right? And they're going to come in. It's probably going to be multiple people and say, hey, do you need some help with something like and this is going to be so powerful and it's going to be as a result of your brain just like you know how it feels like a tube of toothpaste that has a lid on it you know it's just going to pop and this is like oh i can't take this anymore okay so your more sensitive friends the ones that know you very well and i'm not seeing the ones that know you the longest but these are people that are very very deeply connected to you Hey, man, I'm getting a really weird vibe. Are you okay? Or something. They're going to come in out of the blue or so it seems. But you guys are really linked, like on a telepathic level. So they're going to come in and say, whatever it is that you're worrying about, you know, everything's going to be okay. We've got your back. And that's such a brilliant feeling, okay? And it's going to be this sort of collective energy of love. And it's going to provide healing to whatever it is that is stressing you out with the Ten of Swords. So let's pull one more card here for you guys. And I love it when, you know, you're just feeling really super alone or whatever. It's like, oh, I wish somebody, I had somebody to talk to. And then you get a notification on your phone and it's somebody that you really trust and you really care about. And they're saying, ah, oh, yeah, do you need to talk about something? And then they are there for you, okay? So... We also have the three of wands. So these people are going to actually help pick you up and put you back on your journey. Okay, this is really just stunning. I love the energy here. You've also got two threes in your reading, which is an angel number three, three. So you definitely want to be looking out for numbers with three in them today. Just wait a second. 
they're just asking me to put another card over top of the three of cups okay just a sec this is going to be to do with your relationships as well nice okay so it's the page of pentacles okay so remember on monday if you guys were watching it's like somebody there was some sort of debt that was coming up and you're like, where am I going to get the money to pay this? You know, uh, my car broke down or I forgot to pay my credit card bill. You know, my power is going to get shut off. Something happened financially. Okay. And we saw the five of pentacles, but now, and this could be the thing that you're super worried about, even though on Monday I told you not to, okay, because it's going to come from somewhere. And here's the evidence of that. Okay. We've got the page of pentacles. So somebody has been reading you at a distance, you know, you can see that they've got their little book here. They're reading your energy. They know what is going on, has something to do with finances. Um, they could recently have come into a sum of money and say, hey, you know, I'm going to pay for that for you. I don't want you to have to worry. What else can I do for you? Okay, so this is going to be a very powerful and it's not going to lead to another debt. Okay, so that needs to be just put out there because they're not going to ask for their money back. This is going to be a gift because they have a certain amount of affluence that you might not have been aware of. And then just put you back on your path and you can just be happy and continue forward. This is really beautiful. You've got the strength card with that stunning dragon and that sort of 10 of swords energy. We're going to put it face down and ignore it. And it looks like a really, really good day all around for you guys. So I'm going to bounce and I'll see you back here tomorrow for the secret language of light. Okay, so take care of yourselves. Bye, guys. Bye.